With whom did you speak? Uh, with uh, Mr Burns. You spoke with Mr Burns, yep. director. So he's the managing director, isn't that correct? Yeah, that's right. Of an ASX listed company, and he took your travel booking. Well, I, I made arrangements through him. It's to a make 717 a well, market market capitalised company, and he took your travel booking. I, I can only tell you uh, what happened. I made a booking through uh, Hello World, uh, engaging with Mr. Burns, that is right. Uh, and uh, I provided my credit card details and I, um, I, um, in, I asked for payment to be made and I was assured that this would, this would happen. Is this the only trip you've... You, is this the only discussion you have had with Mr. Burns uh, relating to travel where he's also taken your travel booking? Uh, I, I believe that I've booked travel through Hello World on three occasions, and on each occasion, the payment I've uh, verified the payment was processed. No, I think Senator Kitching's question went to. I mean, it is an unusual thing to call someone at his level to book flights. It says something about the relationship, Senator Cormann. But I think the question went to how many times did you actually? transact with is the CEO, is the that CEO. right, yeah. of this large on, company personally for your flights? Um, on three occasions, I believe. All the, so all your personal travel, you Not, ring him? Well, in, in, in more recent times, uh, that's, that's right, uh, through Hello World. Yep. Well, so, no, but it's not just through Hello World, sorry. You yeah. don't just ring one of their employees, you ring the boss. Is that how it works? Well, I mean, he, he was my contact that I knew at Hello World and I made travel arrangements through him, that's right. It's an and, odd arrangement. through his office. Sorry? It's an odd arrangement. Well, that's... So how did it work? Did you say, look, I've got the following dates available for travel, um, or my family does, and he went through and found the flights for you and this is all on the phone? Or no, like... How did, how did this conversation work? The, 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 way, the way it would work is that I would uh, ask for uh, travel bookings to be made and for, my, for me to be invoiced and charged. And, and I mean, I, you know, his off, obviously I don't, understand, I don't know what the arrangements are within his office. So I'm wondering about the circumstances that see you phoning the CEO of an organisation? The, the circumstance is that I organised the travel and uh, I booked travel and I paid for it. How, did, how do you know Mr Burns? Oh, well, I've known him over the years, obviously. I mean, it's a matter of public record that he uh, has been involved in the Liberal Party for some time. So how far back does your association with him go? I have to take that on notice. I think... Um, from six or seven years, perhaps. But it's only in recent times that you've commenced booking with him directly? Um, well, the three trips would have been in the last three or so years, yes. So it last? The last three or so years, but I can take that on notice. Right, so sometime in the last three years, you moved away from whoever had previously been navigating your travel for you and you started phoning Mr Burns directly? I made travel bookings through Hello World, that's right. Okay, yeah. and again I ask you, who initiated this arrangement where the CEA would be available to you personally to take your call in relation to your family holiday bookings? Well, to be fair, I mean, in more recent times I had more interaction with him in the context, obviously, of... Um, his involvement with the Liberal Party, and uh, that is where the um, occasion arose, where I was able to make those bookings. And did he offer to you, or did you ask him to establish such an arrangement? Well, I, might, I, I take responsibilities for having made the bookings, if that is the question.